you know, I got into a bit of trouble at work, like, you know, and uh, I started shouting at one of the foreign, one of the young lads, calling him a dirty foreign, but it was a really bad day for me, and the lad had been giving me, like, a load of, load of lip, like, in that week, so uh, I suppose I should ex- explain, really, you know, it's not... Anyway, the, the day before I couldn't sleep, you know, I got a banging in the loft from the Albanian fella next door, like, hey, take a constant tap, tap, tap. <laughs> like, <laughs> bit like a, bit like a tool used in carpet laying, you know, but who lays carpet in, in the loft in the middle of the night, you know? It's, Certainly not the UK thing. <laughs> I'm done. I'm uh, wondering he's got someone as uh, like an hostage, you know, like an hostage in his roof fight. So, you know, I, I noticed that the usual bloke in the NP baddage garage hadn't been there for a few weeks, like, so that's a worry. That, you know, he would always set aside an egg sandwich for the wife, and, you know, in case she needed a, a late night egg hit, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you know, I, um, like, I got up about five because of the tap, 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 and, you know, and they put me slippers and dressing gown and went downstairs, and, you know, I put a bowl of oats so simple. Golden syrup layer in the microwave, you know, in order to take two minutes. And wish it were a, a longer, really, because I enjoyed watching the ball, you know, go round and round and round and round and round. <laughs> anyway, and I, uh, when the ping noise happened, you know, I reached in to get the ball out, but it was red hot, like, and I dropped a whole lot on the floor. Like, like. There was oh, so simple, like, everywhere, you know, all over the laminate, up the front of the cabinet, and the ball had broke. Now, I'm cleaning up the mess, like, you know, me bucket, not that. When I hear the wife come downstairs and, like, I ship myself, because I broke in the favourite ball. It's the uh, white one that, like, my son got a years ago, you know, saying, best mum in town. And you never uh, got, you never that like, you got me a best dad one, you know. He, he said they didn't sell them, but I think that they must have just sold out because I've seen the dad ones all over the town, you know. Well, I picked up the pieces of blood. I've just got to stop this recording there, Andy. Um, just press pause there, have press you? Press pause, yeah. Uh-huh. Um, it's pretty long, this, so you will need to tolerate it. <laughs> Absolutely. Sorry, it's pretty long, this. Yeah. yeah. All right. Keep, keep, press po- play. OK. Well, I quickly like, picked up the pieces of the wall and wrapped them in newspapers from last night's pre-switter and chips and popped them in the rain, like... Anyway, she had a right mardy look on her face. <laughs> what was that for a noise I heard just up the microwave ping? Sounded like something smashing. Why have you got me mop out without permission? <laughs> well, like... I think on, I think on my feet and I told her I'd drop me cup of tea and explain that I'm like, really sorry, you know. Sorry for using the mop without permission. Sorry for the mess. And sorry for breaking the ball. Well, she looked at me like, you know, I was an advert, then walked back upstairs and did her a couple of boiled legs and left them outside the door. She let and love her shouted from outside the door, but she never replied. Dog dead. Well, as soon as I got to work at the training ground, I said to this young foreign lad, nipping her off to town and get my replacement breast mum in town, girl. I showed him which one it was using Google Images. Like. So I said he could 
treat himself to a chicken wrap, you know, so go on, like. I know a chicken wrap, man, you know, especially if the lettuce is nice and crunchy. Crunchy, crunchy. Anyway, like, like, he came back about now and later, and sure enough, he got the ball, but it was the wrong size, you know. He got soap ball rather than the cereal size, so, well, Knowing that the wife would like lump me, lump me, totally lump me without hesitation, which she has been doing a lot since, since she rejected the Lord Baby Jesus. I lost my rag and I gave this flower and had a slap. Knowing now he's gone to the authorities and I'm making deep shit. You know. So I think if only I hadn't been woken up by the banging in the loft, everything would be a lot different, you know. If you knew my wife, you might understand, but you don't, so I guess I'm on my own here. Jesus said, you know, don't judge him until you've walked in his shoes or in your, you know. Bloody hell, don't tell me wife I mentioned Jesus. She hates fucking hates that blow up the phone. <laughs> Anyway, no, my wife wants a mushroom omelette, so I'd, uh, I'd better be on my way anyway. <sighs> well, I've been home ever since I was suspended that I found my coaching job, which hasn't been e easy like at all, you know. I got the wife back at me all day and snagging off Jesus, like, and as usual, I've been... Walking up early most nights because of tap, 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 and in me lost, you know. Now, I'm convinced it's the Albanian fella next door, so last night about two in the morning, I went into me loft and started banging on one of my wife's baking trays with me trumpet. I thought it might flush him out like, you know. I bought my son a trumpet, you know, for his 12th birthday, but he only did a couple of paps on it and then he seemed to disappear from the house, like, so I never knew what happened to that, like. I asked him where it was a couple of times, but he just looked at me like I was an advert. <laughs> well, I got no response from the Albanian, so I crept downstairs like, you know, a midnight shadow so I didn't wake up the wife. I got into the kitchen and you know, it's the most beautiful feeling in the world to be alone in the kitchen, you know, in the half light, with no one around to spy on you and what you're up to. Wife doesn't like, really give me permission to go in the kitchen if I'm not cooking her, her eggs, like, you know. Don't do it. So, I got a little torch out of the drawer, you know, it's a lovely, got a lovely yellow shaft, like bright yellow, you know, like a banana, or the alternate stripes on a wasp, or like a price video sticker, you know, on a chicken wrap. I often go down Morrison's around 6pm late to check out the reductions, especially if the wife's in, in one of the turmoils, like, you know. Love a chicken wrap, me. I like it best if it's been cut in half, then I can attack it from an open end rather than a blunt end. But, you know, it's not a deal breaker. A chicken wrap is a chicken wrap. <laughs> anyway, I open a few cupboards to look at the food, you know, like round trays, jelly. I like the lime one, but the wife just gets raspberry. Evaporated milk. Long life milk, you know, tinned peaches, dried onion slices, ambrosia rice, walnuts, goblin meat pudding, it's mainly UK food really, you know. Anyway, nothing that I fancy, so I turn the, the, toward the fridge like and I stub me toe on the table leg. Well, it hurts like fuck, you know, and I, but I don't cry out, I go straight to the chest freeze to get some frozen peas to put on it. Well, I shine me yellow torch inside the freezer. I can't see anything but frozen corn cobs. Wife likes waving them about if she's got a knack on, you know. I rummage about a bit, and there in the bottom corner, 
Not me, the music's run out, Andy. Oh, it starts up again automatic. Good. All right, here we go. <laughs> I'll rummage about a bit, you know, in, in the freezer, and then the bottom corner, I see something that makes my heart leap. <laughs> it's a couple of fish fingers that must have fallen out of the box, like, you know, and a, and a solitary frozen UK-style bread bun. The thing is, I like the fish fingers. Sandwiches, you know, nearly as much as a wrap. But I'm not allowed bread and fish since the wife rejected Jesus. Because, you know, bread and fish is very much associated with the bloke, like, you know, that. You know, the, you know very close association. That's that's why I always eat me, me chicken wraps when I'm out and about, you know. I know it's like a foreign bread, but I'm not taking a chance with the wife, like, you know. <laughs> So I'm shaking like a leaf with excitement as I put the bun in the microwave to defrost and the fingers in the oven. Well, the bun is going round and round and round and round. And in the torchlight, you know, it looks like a successful painting. I'm transfixed and I forget to open the door before it bings, you know. Well, that's it, before you know it, the lights are on and the wife is stood at the kitchen door. What the fuck are you doing in my kitchen, you little fucking creep? And who gave you permission to use the fucking yellow torch? No, oh, listen, love, I'm sorry I'm in your kitchen without permission, like, you know, and I'm sorry I woke you up with the ping. I'm sorry I'm running down the battery on the yellow torch. Yeah, oh, shit your fucking mouth, I'll lamp you. Why's my oven on? And what, what are you cooking in the microwave, like? Well, I have to like, think quickly, you know, because if the wife knew there was bread and fish in the house, she would beat me, like, within a fart of my life. I was just defrosting a corn cob to throw at the church later, and the oven's on because I thought you might, like, bake eggs to change, love. Well, she bars it, like, so I'm off the hook, you know, and she says she'll bang on the ceiling when she wants her eggs, and she, like, fucks off back to bed, like, you know. Well, I quickly grabbed the bun and the fingers and put them back in the bottom of the freezer. Whilst I'm doing it, like, I see a glimpse of, like, a brass pipe or something like a brass pipe, anyway. I tug at it and, would you believe it, my son's trumpet. After I took the eggs and I'd have walked... (laughs) And I had to walk into the park and played a few pipes on the trumpet, you know, to the tune... One Peter Beardsley, there's only one Peter Beardsley, you know. <laughs> it was dark before I knew it, so I got back home and had some biscuits and custard on my lap, you know. Got to be honest, I uh, couldn't stop thinking about them fish fingers and that UK bun in the bottom of the freezer. So near, you know, but... So far.